Hello again. We're going to start with breaking news from Zimbabwe because in the past two hours, the military has said it is not taking over the country. But still, there are fears a coup may be underway. There have been armoured vehicles on the streets of the capital Harare, with the army reported to have taken over the headquarters of the state broadcaster. In a televised address, Zimbabwe's army spokesman has said this is not a military takeover. He says the armed forces are targeting government criminals. The spokesman said the president, Robert Mugabe, is safe. Firstly, we wish to assure the nation that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defence Forces, Comrade Araji Mugabe, and his family are safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him, causing social and economic suffering in the country in order to bring them to justice. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. For some analysis, we've been speaking to Jonathan Ofei Ansa, who is the publisher of Africa Briefing, speaking to us from London. He said Zimbabwean the Zimbabwean military is downplaying the situation. I believe um, it must be safe in its um, official residence. Because, um, I mean, if the army was 100% behind Robert Mugabe, you know, the commander, I mean, the commander of the army would have come out on Monday to criticize, you know, um, um, the so-called page, right, of elements within the ruling party, ZANU-PF. The army, and I'm not sure, is 100% behind the president. But because, you know, what they step into, I mean, uh, they don't necessarily have to arrest or harm, you know, the president, right? And in that region, in particular, and Africa in general, coup d'etats, you know, are frowned upon these days. It is anathema, especially in the Southern African region. That's why there's been no coup d'etat ever there. Okay, so they will not come out to say that. Look, we are taking the coup d'etat. And don't forget, Robert Mugabe, though he has a lot of opposition in the country, he is still revered, right, in the country as the one who brought them out of uh, white minority rule and gained independence for them, right? So he still has that respect you know, among Zimbabweans. So they would go to, they would take extreme measures, they will go to extra length to assure both Zimbabweans and uh, the, the water world in general that President Mugabe is safe. Because they said that they were coming to, they were, they were coming to take care of criminals. Please, I mean, so just don't take care of criminals. So just are supposed to defend the external borders of a country, okay? So, and, and taking care of, of criminals is the work of the police. So what criminals are they coming to take care of? So they are trying to sort of sanitize, couch this in a language that wouldn't raise any alarm across the region. That's Jonathan Afeyansa speaking to us earlier uh, from London. But Reuters, uh, the news agency, just literally in the past 90 seconds, uh, has filed this development to us. It says Zimbabwean soldiers and armoured vehicles have blocked roads to the main government offices, to the parliament and the courts in central Harare. This is an eyewitness that has spoken to the Reuters news agency saying that uh, these access roads to government offices, the parliament and courts in central Harare have been blocked by the military, but that other people seem to be going about their lives normally with people taking taxis to work and queuing for cash outside banks. We'll keep you right up to date on the situation.